The whole assembly in the back of the car was bad. Uh, bearings was making noise, so just went to the mechanic. And this is the part taken out. They take out the original, well, the one that was on the actual car. Took out this piece, this came with a new one, and slipped in the old one because apparently this is slightly different from the new one. But this is the part. It's a hub assembly for a B15, rare. So, yeah. This bearings, this is interesting. Look at this. This is a bearing and I'm able to pull it and move it. That's, that's not good. The other side isn't, well, it's better, but isn't that much better. I mean, have a look at this. Let me see if I put on the actual light in this phone and see if that helps. Have a look at it now, watch. This is a bearing. I am able to actually move a bearing. <laughs> Definitely no good. The first piece off, this bearing is, as you could see, nice and clean, as they always are. Um, so, yeah, our raceway here, and definitely a truss capability. It's not a straight raceway running straight through, so that you can basically just push the inside through. This is no way this could have gone through. So, that's a truss capability, and of course a bearing, and the other one will be the same. So, to have truss from the other side, so I'll knock that out, and both of those will come out. Whether this raceway can come out easily and this whole house in, that's a different story. So maybe not. Maybe they can't and I'll probably just knock them out anyway for the heck of it. Doesn't make sense keeping them in anyhow. So yeah, this is where we are for this. And I'm not seeing anything damaged, any bearings. So it's just I guess wear over time. Um oh bearings? Uh, I don't know. I don't think yeah, well the whole this whole cage is moving. That's interesting. So let me knock off the side and let's see what we can get. Well, I've managed to press out everything here and this is suspiciously well machined. This entire thing, now I thought it had two pieces. It doesn't look so. It looks like it, it really is part of this entire hub. It was cast and machined to high tolerances. This is pretty high tolerance. Uh, inside here, surface ground and they made a bearing housing this whole thing is the bearing housing so there's no way to press this out there was nothing to press out and yeah there's no way that this could be fixed which explains why they changed the entire thing didn't think it used to come that way i thought they used to use bearings and press it into a cast piece but it would appear no oem manufacturers just uh, machine this whole thing, surface around it and got it done and let me take a look inside I'll try to get some pictures of this too. The lip we're seeing, this is the same lip here on this side so this is providing the truss and providing the to prevent axial forces from pushing this way so that's that lip here and of course on the other side have exactly the same thing which is a lip on this side here which provides the truss again axial truss this direction so it provides axial truss and of course you know alignment rotary our major problem here if we look um right pitted pitted damage badly damaged uh it's no good that's not even a slight pit that is major for a bearing so yeah uh major problems major things i've broken all the raceways that's them there this is an old arm it's got this brick uh this is the end of the other raceway the cap one cap on one side cap on the other side Raceway and raceway, I've broken, I've broken both of them. So, ah, damn it. Right, here we go. So, yeah, plastic. Interesting method of putting the raceway, but plastic, plastic. I've taken out thing, and then this is the other side, similar to the first one I showed. So, yeah, let me just clean up the side, I'll clean up this, let me clean up that with some uh, tissue paper, and then, yeah, knock out the little bearings and just keep them for some. Use this application, who knows, just to look pretty maybe. Isn't this not everything has been cleaned up? If we look at this one, no damage. All around the sides, no damage. Alright, this is the one on the rear, that's good. Inner side, and this is the one, the other piece where we show damage on the raceway. This is the other side, the damage. I mean, this is extremely, extremely rough. I'm not talking slightly rough. This is really, really bad for a bearing. I mean, definitely not viable. Cannot be used as a bearing anymore.